Hi, my name is Rob Cortman with Venture RV, and this is the Sonic Light 160 VBH. This is a brand new model for us, and this 16 foot bunkhouse trailer is very open. Uh, we give you a very versatile living space all in this 16 foot area. I will show you how that all the configurations of the table and eating area and sleeping area here soon, but first we'll hit some of the features here on the inside. Now, as soon as you walk in the door, you'll notice again a lot of open space. Uh, we have 82 inch ceiling heights in all of our Sonic models. That gives you a tremendous amount of, of space and headroom. We have the safe tech box here, which right when you come in the door, you've got a place to either put your keys up in here, tuck your phone, charge it. There's two USB cables or uh, storage outlets up there, plus 110 outlets. And then this is where you would control your awning, which is power, and then the lights. And then this blue light is the exterior awning light. Keeps everything nice and tucked away there. When you go towards the kitchen here, we use Surfex countertops on all of our surfaces here. It's nice and scratch resistant. There's no seam here on the corner. It makes it really nice to clean. And then this uh, countertop piece removes here and you'll see we've got a deep stainless sink. So you can get all your dishes and stuff in there. Makes it really nice for uh, prepping anything in the kitchen. And then when you need the extra counter space, you just put that back on there. Now, underneath here, we have some storage drawers as well. These are on full extension drawer guides. These pull all the way out. They're nice and stable, 100 pound rated is what they're for. And then we've got the convection oven here. So this is a microwave plus it's a convection oven, so you can actually cook things in there and crisp thing. There's an electric heating element that will uh, act as an oven. Two burner cooktop, our range top here, so it's got a light and a fan in there. And then we've got a tremendous amount of storage up top. So you've got room for all of your plates or just pantry items, food items, plenty of, of stuff there. On the opposite side here, again, a ton of storage. There's a wardrobe bar so you can hang uh, clothing items in there or if you want to put some additional shelves. And then also we have storage underneath here. So a lot of room for uh, extra supplies. As you can see, this is a bunkhouse model. So you've got sleeping for two. There's windows in each one of the bunk areas. Each window opens. So you've got a screen, you can get some ventilation through there. And then each one of the bunks also have it, has their own individual lights that you can turn on and off. There's also storage underneath here. If you lift this up, you'll see our plywood uh, base here. This lifts up and you can access the storage underneath there as well. In this model, we have the gas electric seven cubic foot refrigerator. You can also get a 12 volt eight cubic foot refrigerator. And just behind here, you're going to have uh, the bathroom. When you go into the bathroom, you'll see, again, a lot of space for a 16-foot trailer. That's our porcelain foot flush toilet. Really nice and easy to keep clean. And then you've got our sink area with, again, uh, USB charging areas for any accessories, 110 outlets, and then our big angled shower with hot and cold running water. Just above the shower, again, to increase headspace, you've got the skylight. Uh, which will also light things up in there. Now in the front of the 160, which is really the main feature of this 16 foot trailer, it has this tremendous amount of seating. Uh, if you are stuck inside for the night or just want to work inside the dry space or climate controlled, very comfortable seating. You've got seating for the whole family or guest or whomever you want. When you put the table out, um, plenty of room for all of the things that you need to do. We also have storage underneath here. So in these drawers, there's storage that lifts up. You can put bedding in there or anything else. These also will come out. There's two of them. And you can use them as a place to work on or you can put your feet up on them. They're very sturdy. When we put the table there, you can also uh, sit on them. And they store right back. So now when we make this sofa into a bed at night, you pull these cushions off here. They're just Velcroed on the back. 
and it works really simple. This lifts up, it's all steel framed. Got two legs that fold down. This piece drops down in the back here. And then these cushions, you can also just store. They'll go right down all the way, or you can keep them up a little bit and sit up and read. But there's plenty of space for sleeping here. If you have somebody taller on the other side, there's plenty of room for them to stretch out as well. And to put it back, we just fold it back. And we're back to the seating area. Now in the front of the camper, we have these nice storage shelves with cargo netting. This is all elastic, so you can fill that up and it will all stay secure during your travels. Up over here as well, we have the DVD player. Uh, this will also control your outside speakers. It's Bluetooth. You have an HDMI input. And this is what your DVD is for the television that's over there. Um, as you can see in the front here too, we have the automotive windshield. There's darkening shade on here for at nighttime and that really is nice for natural light keeping it uh, bright during the day and then on each side there's a uh, nightstand back behind here with USBs and then on the other side we have 110s so plenty of power sources up there in the front as well now this model is equipped with a furnace to control the furnace it's really simple uh, the temperature gauge is right here you just turn it on uh, the farther you go the warmer it gets and it's thermostat controlled too so that will turn off when it gets to a certain temperature right below that is our level mate pro system it just makes leveling very simple there's an app for your phone it's all bluetooth and it will tell you when everything turns green basically you're all level very simple to use and you can find a little bit more information on that on uh, our website